one thing that was crazy about the whole thing was I remember being extremely shaky almost and mm -hmm. emotional. We were very shaky and we both cried. What's up guys, Nate and Sutton back with another video and today we are talking about our wedding night. Ooh. Juicy stuff. We're gonna tell you the whole story starting from the moment we hit that limo drive all the way to our hotel room and beyond. If you're new here and you don't know much about us, me and Nathale both saved ourselves for marriage and so that's why we wanna do this video was to talk to other people out there who are trying to do the same thing and tell you guys about what our wedding night was like as virgins. So right after our wedding exit, we hopped in the limo and then we knew what was to come. And I remember, I think it was probably like what, an hour and a half car ride to the hotel? It felt long. Yeah, yeah it felt like forever. <laughs> and I remember, I think I was just like smiling ear to ear the entire car ride. <laughs> I don't remember that driver like just kept talking to us and I don't know if I knew was listening to anything he was saying. He just wanted to talk to us. I know like every word that he said was going in one ear out the other. He was just like, I remember us holding hands and uh... That's not how we do it. I, I, yeah, I remember. What, what is, why are your hands so cold? No, why does this feel like we don't know how to hold hands? Because we're never <laughs> sitting like this, like on the edge I of the couch. It. This is not right. Anyway. Anyways. We were holding hands the whole car ride and every once in a while I remember just us looking at each other and we would start laughing because it was just like this was such a big moment that we had both been literally waiting 24 years of our lives. I feel like the only expectations you can really get is from movies and stuff if you're not watching porn or anything. And it was just like the movies. Yeah, right. And the movies are so misleading. Like there's so much to it that I didn't know was a thing. I don't know how much detail to get into. <laughs> From movies you see like the man and woman rushing into a hotel room, slamming each other up against walls, <laughs> which I mean that's not personally our style, the but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Sutton's like, let me take a shower, let me go do my hair. Oh yeah, that's something y'all probably, I did see questions about that. We did take a shower first because we were at our wedding all day, you know, we danced like crazy at the reception, we were sweaty, like we wanted to take a shower. Yeah. Speaking of expectations, I feel like it's very important to manage your expectations going into your wedding night because you never really know, especially if you're a virgin, it can be so easy to think, oh, this is gonna be the greatest thing ever and the best moment of my life. And you, it's easy to imagine like a movie scene kind of fairy tale wedding night, which it might be, which it might be just like that. It's putting a lot of pressure on yeah. it. That is not necessary. I said there's already pressure on the moment in the day and then to put that on top of it is just too much. The only thing really that I expected was just that it was gonna be like the most bonding, intimate moment that I've ever experienced and something that would connect me and Sutton in a way that we've never been connected before. We asked you guys on Instagram, those of you who follow us on Instagram, Nate and Sutton, we asked you guys if there's anything y'all want us to cover in this video and it just Scrolling through the questions, all I saw was awkward, 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 was it awkward, was it awkward? Like that was the most common question. I, we should have counted how many times people asked that. <laughs> We're gonna get to the, the part of the moment, was it awkward, you know, seeing each other naked for the first time. <laughs> so as Sutton said on Instagram, we asked you guys some questions or some topics that you guys would like us to cover on this video. So we're gonna go through a couple of those right now. What were some of the things people told you about your first time? Was it true or not that it would hurt that you couldn't walk for days? What? <laughs> so I think this is a rumor for girls that goes around saying your first time is gonna hurt so bad and you can't walk for days. So tell me, or tell them, how, what was your experience like there? This video is so funny because it's like, what's the line here of what I'm trying to say? <laughs> like how much is too much information, but I know about what you guys I want to know. So anyway, for me personally, doesn't mean this is how it's going to be for you. I wouldn't say it hurt. It did not hurt. It wasn't the most comfortable thing in the world. Like 
you know, something you experience every day, but it didn't hurt. Not walking for days, I, I don't think I've heard that, that's funny. We went paddle boarding, we went kayaking. We horse went, riding. We rode yeah. horses in the water, we did everything. Yeah, so if you can ride horses, I think That's the real test. I know, I think you're okay. <laughs> so the only person that can tell you what it was like to be a virgin on their wedding night is someone who was a virgin on their wedding night. But people will try to tell you what it's gonna be like even though they never personally experienced it because there's, there's just such a huge difference between you know, having sex with a boyfriend or someone that might you might not be with the next day and being worried if you're gonna get pregnant compared to having sex with someone who literally y'all just stood before God making promises that you're gonna spend the rest of your life with each other no matter what, that you are surrendering your lives to each other. I, along with that comes so much, you just are so receptive and open to the experience and it's just so much more beautiful. It's magic. No. <laughs> Even if the experience might hurt for you, that's just not a reason, or not a good reason, <laughs> to abandon, you know, what God wants for you and what he calls us to do is to wait for our spouse. So just doing it before your wedding night for the purpose of getting the pain over with so that you can enjoy it is just not, not a good idea because it might hurt. People were saying, if you spent your whole life as a Christian and your parents and everyone's telling you like, don't do this, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. And then all of a sudden one day you're allowed to do it. It's just weird. Like, and I thought about that before we got married, because if you think about it, there's really nothing else in your life that those are the standards. Like that you're told your whole life, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong, don't do it, don't do it. And then one day it's just like, go for it. So yeah. I was worried that we would feel like guilt ridden or something, but I really feel like God designed it to where that you just don't like it doesn't happen because because of what he said you know you've already you said your vows you stood before God and your family and friends and you've promised yourselves to each other and made that commitment and and you know this is the way God intended it so there is no guilt that comes with the way God intended things to be. Speaking of that it is so important to have a healthy perspective on sex before you get married because a lot of Christians like she said are raised to think it's like this horrible nasty, terrible thing, but it's really not. It's an amazing <laughs> gift from God. It's his gift to us. He so, just says, wait, that's all he says. <laughs> yeah, just wait. <laughs> and that way, when you go into marriage, you, you know you're not doing anything wrong, but it's actually a beautiful thing. Who was the most excited? Why don't you tell us? You think it was me? Yeah. Whoa, you weren't excited? Well, they said, who's the most? We were neck and neck. What do you think? Uh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I would think I was probably more excited. See? Someone else asked, which I thought was a good question and is relevant because, you know, we made a video about porn and we had a lot of views on that video, people saying they struggle with that. So this is a good question for you. Someone said, did seeing porn give you expectations that it would be something that it wasn't? No, I really, I really don't think it did. Thank God. That doesn't mean you, you should watch it though. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just because God really delivered me from that addiction when you know i don't if y'all heard our whole story about how i used to look at porn and how when i told sutton it broke her heart and she was just breaking down to me and nothing could stop me from watching it besides when i finally told her that and to see the hurt and pain in her eyes that was finally like whoa it just it just left me that that stronghold over me so i feel like with that went everything that i had experienced through it so i just never think about it anymore it's like cleared from my mind. Were we insecure about seeing each other? I wasn't, were you? I may have felt a little like, you know, this is kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think I was like insecure. The only thing that I may have felt insecure about was, you know, you have people like give you lingerie for your wedding or for your honeymoon. And I wore that, that was obviously the first time I ever put anything like that on before. And so if I had any insecurity, I think it was like around that. I came out of the shower and she's in lingerie and I'm like, dang, crazy. Did we pray beforehand? I think we, we did. did. Yeah, yeah, we did. Speaking of that, one thing that was really surprising to me about the whole experience is how emotional it was. Yeah. Didn't we both cry? Yeah. I wish we were doing this video closer to when it happened so we would like really remember the details. If any of you are getting married, y'all should make a video about this so you remember it. One thing that was crazy about the whole thing was I remember being like extremely shaky almost and mm -hmm. emotional. We were very shaky and we both cried. I think that just goes to show what a meaningful moment it was to both of us. Was it worth the wait? Heck 
Yes, that's the easiest question I'll ever answer. It was so beyond worth the wait. Never ever in my life have I thought, ooh, I wish we would have had sex before marriage. <laughs> only if we did that. Uh, or only if we did it with other people. Or wish, I wish we had more experience. You know, that thought has never crossed my mind. Being good at doing it, I think is such a funny idea. because. Dude, what does that even mean? I know, it's like, <laughs> Like what, the, yeah, what does that Like, I don't mean? know how you can be bad. I just don't get it. And the cool thing is I feel like there's no pressure, especially on your wedding night. I mean, like we just committed our lives to each other. We have our entire marriage to practice. If we are- Figure it out, you'll figure it out. If we are bad at it. <laughs> was it awkward? The question everyone wants to know. It was so far from being awkward. I think it goes back to what I was saying of like, if you're doing things the way God intended it, he doesn't intend for there to be awkwardness and guilt and bad feelings around something that's such a gift. I would describe it as beautiful, wonderful, pleasing, marvelous, magnificent, lovely, delightful, divine, and ravishing. Yeah, so our wedding night, it was so far from being awkward, but I will tell you what to me sounds like a more awkward situation. What sounds more awkward to me is having to tell You've, your future husband and spouse, all the people that you've had sex with. What sounds awkward to me is having a baby when you're not ready. Having sex with someone that might not be there for you tomorrow. Finding out that the person you had sex with has an STD, that, that seems kind of awkward to me. And I'm not saying that if you've done these things that you're a horrible person or that you're any, any less of a person. I feel like that's uh, something in our videos that gets misconstrued a lot is when we talk about an ideal way of living or how we feel like God calls us to live, if you didn't do that, that we're like shaming you or saying that you've ruined your life or something like that. We're not saying that at all. We're just telling you that, you know, when people are asking us, was our wedding night awkward as virgins? Well, we think the alternatives are way less ideal. If you have made the decision to save yourself for marriage, there are unfortunately going to be people out there that are going to tell you it's going to be awkward, it's going to be painful. You're not gonna wanna wait, you're gonna wanna be experienced. All these things that aren't true. And if those are the people that you're surrounding yourself with, you should surround yourself with different people. I had a lot of friends that didn't wait for marriage and none of them ever said those things to me. None of them ever tried to scare me or say anything negative about it. They were all like, that's awesome that you waited and I wish I would've done that and things like that. So my friends were all very encouraging and I encourage you to get you some friends like that. If you're trying to save yourself from marriage, and you wanna get someone's true input and advice, don't listen to people who haven't done it. And that's why we're here for you. All right, we're gonna do a lightning round answering some quick questions on that you guys asked on Instagram. And we didn't choose these, choose these beforehand, I'm just gonna go with what I'm Just go, at. come on, hit me. Okay, is it scary? No. Is it a sin to use condoms? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know, that's a good question. Did you have any clue what you were doing? I didn't, but I felt like I did. What was your biggest fear? I probably was scared that I wouldn't like it. How to be completely naked and unashamed for the first time with a man or woman? Get married first. Did you do any preparation? Well, just praying about it. Like, was it everything you expected? I feel like I didn't have many expectations, so I don't, so that's hard to answer. Are you guys actual virgins or born again virgins? Actual. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up, comment below what you thought about it, and most importantly, be sure to subscribe. Really appreciate the comments and the likes because it helps boost our videos and YouTube algorithms and helps get our messages out to more people. This is Nathan Sutton sowing seeds of truth, love, and inspiration one view at a time. And that was our wedding night.